When you live or work in a remote area, you probably don't have the same communications coverage as people living in the city. And for a lot of people, that means missing out on vital information that can improve their lives. But we've come up with a new way to help people access the information that they need. Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Tom. And we're going to introduce you to the remote communication system of the future. Our technology is known as machine-to-machine -machine communication, or M2M. M2M allows network devices to exchange information and perform actions without any involvement from humans. It's often used for monitoring things like traffic and can even be used in vending machines to alert people when products are running low. M2M technology has been around for a long time. We've developed a new satellite solution to bring it to a whole new range of users, like farmers. It all begins with these small battery powered transmitter devices. Here is a prototype. They consist of a small circuit board with a microprocessor, global positioning system or GPS, and a motion sensor. It also has an antenna and a battery. We can connect this device to a range of sensors, a bit like connecting something to your computer using a USB. The device can be programmed to log and transmit data to suit the user's needs. For farmers, this would be really handy for monitoring things like the water levels of their tanks. To do that, all they'd have to do is attach the transmitter to a tank level sensor. It would then be able to know when the water level has gone up or down, and it can send that information to the farmer's house. So how is something so small able to do all of that? Well, that's where our satellites come in. When ready, the transmitter can send lots of small packets of data in the form of radio signals directly to a series of low Earth orbit satellites. These small satellites orbit the Earth at an altitude of about 800 kilometres and can receive hundreds of thousands of individual messages at any one time. Once they catch the signals from all of the transmitters, they relay them down to a network of ground stations or satellite dishes. From here, the signals are sent to the cloud, which is a large network of powerful computers. The signals are then decoded and sorted before the information is delivered to users on devices like their phone. This technique would provide a huge boost for farmers because it would mean they could keep track of their tanks, troughs and pumps without having to visit each site and it could even help in a wide range of other industries too. But before we can do this, we need to trial the system in the field. We're just about to begin these trials, and if all goes to plan, we'll be providing this technology to people in remote areas all across the globe. <laughs>